Um, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It is day twenty-seven. Um, I've been working up, up there on the castle. You just about see it in the background. Uh, just came down to go and pick up some more cement because uh, I was running out. I got no, or not, not cement, concrete. Uh, I was running out. Um, I haven't done that much on the castle design from the last episode. I basically, just dug out the um, uh, the the ground floor or, or the um, or the basement, basically the. Oh, I'll go and show you it to you in a moment. As I've taken out this farm, I just need to do a little bit of farming before I get on with it again. Um, actually, I don't need to take out that much. I realise that I've still got a little bit of fertiliser. Um, so I'm going to... The, the, the potatoes need the fertiliser the most. But I actually have got quite a bit of fertiliser in here already. Anyway, let's get on with this quick. Get all this potatoes, lovely potatoes, get them all out. And let's make some more. Uh, where are they? Potatoes, potatoes, where's the peas? Potato seeds. Um, well, well, actually, it's still about 40 of them. Uh, I don't even know if I've got that much room. Anyway, doesn't matter because the potatoes are the main thing. I've got plenty of corn. Um, and make lovely, lovely, lovely stew with that. I'll take all this stuff out as well. Oh, I think I'll plant the rest another time. Um, yeah, where do I need some more fertilizer? Uh, probably over here. God, that's a bit weird. Okay, that was free fertilizer. I don't know why this green patch has just turned up. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's plant these potatoes. Yeah, and then we'll get up up there and keep on building, uh, because the horde will be coming very, very soon. Um, one more day to go, basically, or, yeah, one and a half days. Um, oh, God, these take so long. Yeah, I, I might have to do this off camera, because it's going to take a while for these potatoes to... I think I've almost sorted out my food problem. Um, I've got quite a lot of corn back up base. I've got plenty of uh, goldenrod tea and a few other bits and bobs. Um, what I need to be doing is making more of this iron. Uh, I, I need to be making iron um, uh, spikes as well. I completely forgot about that. Um, well, anyway, let's plant these coffee beans. I also, I had, still don't have beer. Yeah, I've got, also got to... Um, I'm going to do the rest of this farm another time because uh, this will be a little bit boring to do this all on camera. Oh, okay. I've got mushrooms now. I'll at least put these potatoes down. Yeah, as potatoes are the only thing that I was missing to making the stew. Uh, but it looks like I've got plenty now, so the farming problem is pretty much sorted. Uh, let's put all those away as well. That, and let's not bother with those. Okay, okay, okay. Right, let's get back up there. Yeah. I, I need to um, go on... Um, visit the trader as well but first of all let's, let's get up to the um, the main build uh, I'll show you what I've done so far the last uh, we're well, basically all morning all night and all morning uh, let's bung you there oh god every time I overshoot that bit I anyway, just leave the bike there hopefully I won't forget where I put it drawbridge down so I have now taken out most of this floor down below. I can jump onto that. There's a little bit still to go. Uh, but if you remember from the last episode, this whole area was full of earth. And it's taken me ages. I've literally just been smashing away at this. And most of it's been stone as well. I don't know why. Uh, on the other side, it was more earth. And I was able to just do, go around it, um, take out all the earth, and the whole thing just collapsed in. But this side has been solid rock almost the whole way uh, it's been a right well pain up the place where the sun don't shine uh, we're almost there we're almost got through it and yeah it's taking form um all the pillars are i think they're all in place now um yeah all the way around so i can actually use this as the day 28 horde um defensive base I'll just take this bit out without the whole thing collapsing on me. One more. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, there's still a bit to go. But um, most of it's gone now. 
Oh, raw iron. Oh, I'm not full up. I'll take that raw iron. Yeah, so I anyway, will do this this last little bit off camera. It's not much to go anymore. So today the floor needs to go in, or the the I suppose it's the ceiling from this angle. Um, oh no, don't fall down! Oh god, I forgot that hole was there. Hang on, let me just get up quick. Okay, let's try that again, this time without being a, an idiot. Okay, so we've got the floor up here. Oh, I'm going to have to fix my leg now. I uh, don't have any stuff. I uh, don't have any cloth on me. I might have some down in the... Uh, actually, I think I've got some down here. Uh, where is it? There. No, don't have any cloth. Oh, God, I can't even make a splint. Okay, well, I'll just have to wait until I get back to the other base. Um, so, yeah, I've got to put this floor in. Um, this should be reasonably safe here, this line here. But the thing is, I do need to have a support. I've got one supporting pillar underneath this. I'll just see where that is. It should be five out. Okay, one, two... Actually, it's four. One, two, three, four, and then it's five. Yeah, okay. So one, two, three, four, and then the supporting pillar needs to go in there. I just can't make it from this angle. Oh, no, that's wrong. Now I have to pill up, new pillar my way out. Okay, so a supporting pillar needs to go in. Actually, on this side it shouldn't be a problem, but on that side it does. Let's go down, back down here. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then five. Supporting pillar. And that should be reasonably in the middle. It's not too bad. I'm just thinking about structural integrity. And uh, I don't mess that up. Let's just go do it this way. Yeah, that should be good. And this side should be reasonably good as far as structural integrity is concerned. It's a little bit too far now. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to have to put another pillar in there, about there, just to make sure that the whole thing doesn't collapse, that the floor doesn't collapse. Um, this pillar is kind of going to be in the way because the drawbridge come you come in this way I was going to put another drawbridge on the back but this pillar has to be here otherwise I don't have structural integrity okay well there's nothing else for it because I'm going to have to put another one about there about here Well, that'll do for now. Um, let's get these in place. So that's going to be the floor. Oh, I have to keep uh, new pillowing my way up. Okay, so that's going to be in there. And I want, no, not there, there. Okay. Yeah, I think that will work. Okay, and all that needs to be filled in as well. Let's do that quick. And I'm a little bit hot because it was raining earlier. Uh, let's take off the duster and put the poncho on. Okay, fill all this in. God, I went too, one too far there. Uh, I'm going to have to take that out. Uh, let's just fill in this hole. I don't know how that happened. It'll be on the other side now. Uh, can I see it from there? I'll be able to bash that out. Yeah, I'll be able to bash that out. That's not a problem. Okay, let's get this side done quick. Oh, 
God, how did that get damaged? Okay. Oh God, I went down too fast again. Right, um, yeah, this, this leg of mine is gonna be a pain. I'm gonna have to go back to base at some point. Well, I'm gonna have to do it anyway because um, I'm not gonna have that much concrete. You know, I've already used up 300. So let's get these done. This all needs to dry in time for the hoard. Yeah, because the hoard is in, when it turns up on day 28, um, obviously this, this base is nowhere near ready, uh, as far as, let's go up one here, um, you know, as far as the, the finished design, I mean, when I get this done, it's going to be a huge castle above it. Uh, at the moment, though, it's just about enough, ready-ish, just to be able to take on the day 28 horde. Um, but eventually what will happen is behind all these pillars I'm gonna have to dig out all this area and replace all that either with pillars or concrete I'm not quite sure yet and the floor is also going to be put in this is all going to be concrete Although I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go down um, possibly possibly all the way down to 35 blocks uh, so at the moment this full drop is what is that about 10 blocks um, maybe not quite even 10 blocks uh, it seems to be the case that as of alpha 15 or at least alpha 15.1 uh, the um, fall damage is back in the game so if you look back at some of my videos I did in alpha 13 it was quite possible to have fall damage as long as you built the fall that the zombies actually fall in more than 35 blocks uh, you were able to uh, basically kill off about 85% of them. It was only the fell zombies and the cops and some of the other tougher zombies that would actually survive the fall. Uh, but most of them would die. So I've run out of concrete on that, but I got most of it done. At least the lower level, which is the important bit. Um, yeah, and so eventually I'm going to go down probably... I'm going to make this about 35 deep. So it's going to go very, very deep into inside this mountain. Um, but obviously I'm not going to get that done by the Day 28 Horde. Um, just so you know how it's going to look. Right, um, I need to go back to base, but before I do, let's just nip down to the trader quick. And, um, oh god, that sounds so rough, doesn't it? I'm also running out of fuel for this bike. I need to go and loot up some cars. I just haven't had any time to loot anything. I've just been so busy with the base with the castle design. Okay, now I need to go to a trader quick because oh yeah, it's the same old problem I've been having this entire game is I just don't have any uh, calipers. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not having this problem again, please no. Oh, I had this problem a few uh, episodes ago. I was able to um, rectify the problem because I could um, I basically had to go into DM mode can't see the actual trader inside. Uh, basically what happens is uh, the, the trader just disappears from me. He's not inside his, his whatever that is, that, that camper wagon. And um, it means that even though he's open, it's daytime, he's not there. And so the game thinks that the actual trading post is closed, but it isn't. It's actually open, but it isn't because the trader isn't there. So the only way around that is um he's not coming is i have to go into dm mode so maybe i could just show that on camera how that's done um for those people having this particular problem if your your trader isn't in the camper you can just about see him through the window or you in this case you can't he should be standing right there and he's not there yeah, i can hear a zombie coming in let's just kill this guy quick Oh, and I got a bit too close to the camp as well. Oh, and another one. Oh, God, come on. I want to just show this quick on camera. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, right, so the way to deal with this, and it's the only way i found, if anybody knows a better way of doing it, is to go into the DM mode by pressing F1. Oh, hang on, got another zombie. Wow, she just disappeared. Uh, disintegrated okay any more any more no no more yep no we've got one more okay 
What the hell's going on? This shotgun's so powerful, it's just taking them out completely. Oh god, I've just got to deal with these guys quick. I don't know what's going on, that the shotgun at close range is just completely killing them. Now I should use the uh, knife a little bit more. Try and get the knife skill up. Um, I know most people like the club more than anything else, but uh, but I like the knife because it saves one spot on your inventory. I should be able to get some cloth off these guys and be able to fix my leg as well. You know, I definitely need to get my knife skill up. Okay. No, I don't want a bit of wood. I want a bit of cloth. Nothing. Have we got any in here? No. No, that's it. There's no cloth on these guys at all. Anyway, well, maybe I'll be able to buy some. Right, so anyway, this is how you do it. So you go into um, DM mode, uh, debug mode, and basically you have to go into God mode. Uh, sorry, no, you have to do that outside of the console. Go into God mode, and that way you'll be able to enter the... You can actually enter straight through the door, because you're in God mode. And as you can see, he's not in his uh, camper wagon, even though it's daytime. So what you've got to do, very carefully, um, press F6, and then you you can spam into... You can actually create him. Um... I've forgotten which, what his name was. It Trader, not Trader Jimmy, Trade Trader Joel. Let's make sure I get the right one. Trader Rect. I've forgotten which one was here. I think it was Trader Joel. Let's just spam him in. Now he's too far away. Yeah, it's a bit of a bug. It's a pain. And you know, so if I now go out of God mode, he's there, but now he's too far away. So I see you have to go back into God mode. Uh, you have to go behind him and basically push him forward. So out of God mode. I know this is really annoying to have to do this every time, but it's the only way i found to do it. And you push him forward so you can actually talk to him up to his counter. And now you can come out of God mode and you can finally turn off uh, debug mode by hitting DM again. And now we're back and you can actually talk to him. And there you go. Um, it's the only way I figured out how to do this. Uh, if anybody knows a better way, please let me know because I hate having to use debug mode. Um, but you know, he, he is open. It is daytime. Um, it's 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 just a, such a pain. But uh, you know, I, I can't think of any other way of doing it. And thanks very much to the people on the forums that actually gave me that that little trick. Um, right, we need to uh, look and see if he's got any calipers. Oh, God, of course he doesn't have any calipers. Uh, see if he's got anything in his um, secret stash. No. Can't see any calipers. He has got a sniper rifle. Hmm. Very nice. And I can afford it. Got plenty of tokens. Um... So anything else I could use? I can't think of anything. Something right there. Gunpowder I can always use. I don't have enough of that at the moment. No, without any calipers. I'd right, okay. Well, what time does he come back? Oh, does he have a hatchet? Or not a hatchet, a machete. Doesn't look like it. No. Oh, but he does have tasting and brewing. Yep, I need that. How much does it cost? That's really cheap as well. Let's read that. Read, read, read. Because I need to be able to start planting um, hop seed. Uh, but of course I actually need some hop seed. Um, where would that be? Books. Nothing that special. I already know it. 
Um, I've no idea where the actual hop seed would be. Well, we can actually take a look for it. Has it got any seed? Oh, hop seed, there we go. Well, I only need a couple just to get the farm going so I can finally make some beer because beer is really useful on uh, Horde Night. Uh, because uh, with beer, not only do you have plenty of stamina, but you can also run really fast. Uh, and also you don't get stunned which is the main point of beer really okay uh, let's get back onto the build got a couple more hours of daytime uh, still no calipers come back next day I actually forgot to look when he was he next gets his uh, update for new stuff uh, I forgot to actually look at that okay let's park you there Let's get at least some of this floor in. Oh, of course, I haven't got enough concrete anymore. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to base anyway. Um, there's not much more I can do on this without any concrete. I have to go back to base right away. I suppose I could just dig out a little bit more. Yeah, so it's a little bit of an annoyance with the trader at the moment. I, it seems to be every day that... Um, he just bugs out. He's just not in, in the uh, trader cabin or trader um, post, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know how many other people are getting that same problem. I only get it on that one trader. I've been to another trader in a couple of episodes ago, and it wasn't a problem. The trader was there. Everything was normal. It's just that one t one single one that uh, bugs out. Um, yeah, like I said, if you know a better way of um, getting the trader back, uh, please let me know. Uh, as I said, I hate using debug mode. Um, but it might also help you because possibly you had the same problem that your trader wasn't working. Well, now you know what to do. Just uh, uh, go into debug mode and basically hit F6 and get your trader back. But uh, it hasn't helped me that much because I still don't have the, um, the calipers. I mean, I'm day 27, almost pushing day 28. I still don't have calipers, but I suppose I haven't been looting that much. Maybe we should do a little bit more looting and that would uh, would help as well. But I've looted up just about every place I could possibly find that would have calipers. Every single working stiff, um, the water uh, plant, um, uh, just about everywhere I know where you can get calipers and absolutely nothing in the whole of Nav's game. I mean, I've been all around, or at least up in the north. I've been to most of the places that definitely have uh, you know, including Perishton up there in the north. Been to the working steer, been to the waterworks, nothing. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. So this base is, is coming along. Um, it will survive the day 28 horde. I need to get all the, uh, the spikes in place yet. I've got all day tomorrow to get that done. Um, yeah, and hopefully It'll be good enough for the horde. It obviously is, is nowhere near uh, perfect because I haven't got anything to protect myself against the spider zombies. They're still going to be out of. Oh, can I get rid of that? Yeah, I can. I'm still I'm still going to be vulnerable to the spider zombies because they can just climb over this wall. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun horde night. Uh, but we shall see. It'll probably be in an episode or two time. Um, maybe even next episode I'll do the Horde Night. Uh, there's not a whole lot more I can do on this base really, as far as the Horde is concerned, but um, apart from make it a little neater, take um, put all the concrete in place. And, oh yes, I also need to build up these uh, this floor as well. God, time just flies, doesn't it? It just flies when you're playing this game. Let's at least get down to my farm and plant that hop seed. Okay. Oh, this bike is almost out of fuel. Let's park right here and plant the hop seed. I really should plant it where there's some uh, fertilizer. I think that is, yeah, that's definitely fertilized ground. Right, my three little hop seeds are in place. Hopefully that'll grow by tomorrow and I'll actually be able to use it. So I'm just going to finish off the farm quickly. Um, put some more potatoes in and let's get some of that corn going uh, corn recipes corn seed and we'll do about I don't know 30 will do 
And what else do I have? Uh, let's make some more of that. And we'll make golden rod. Ooh, I should think another 30. And I don't think we need any more coffee because we'll have beer. Beer is better than coffee. Let's put these in. So yeah, um, that's, that's going to be about the end of this episode. I think I'll call it here. It's just going to be me farming for a little bit longer. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. If you've had that bug with the trader, if you're able to fix your game. Um, and uh, if so, if you liked the video, uh, please consider leaving a like. Um, but I'll call it here. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.